What is happening? Hold on. Before I even say anything, let me run the disclaimer. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay. All right. How y'all doing? Hello, everybody. <laughs> I am not muted this time, right? That's, I feel like that's, that's a big deal because normally I start and I'm muted and it's fine, but you know, I feel like, yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Oh man, guys, we have a lot. We have a lot to talk about. Yeah. Did y'all see the thumbnail? I'm sure you did. Hello to everybody that is watching from uh, Europe. And it's like 2 a.m. there. That's incredible. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate you guys being here. I guess I should start this with story time. Right? Yeah, that would make sense, I feel like. I did preview this video we're going to watch earlier today with some of the members. And it's, it's a wild ride. And have I discovered more since that? Yeah, it's only been a couple hours too, let me tell you. Anyways, story time. And also, if you have not licked the stream, if you would, that would be amazing. I heard it tastes like the tears of my haters. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> I am in a silly, goofy mood. I don't know what is happening. Kelsey Ray is going off in her stories about unschooling her children and she doesn't have a diploma or a GED, nothing against that, but it's a requirement by the state of South Carolina. Now, Courtney is going to be unschooling her children, Courtney Shortney, and uh, joined a gym probably to recruit, in my opinion, is going to be putting her kids in all kinds of classes and stuff. And I just, <laughs> what is happening? What is happening? Uh, this is amazing. Thank you, Fancy Beast. I appreciate that. I don't have a Diet Dr. Pepper with me. I should get one. Let's just start with adding to the Diet Dr. Pepper fund. Thank you. I appreciate you. And, you know, Diet Dr. Pepper is always a win, you know? So thank you. I appreciate you. Oh, man. Member for five months. Welcome. Craziness indeed. Yeah. So, I just recently heard about the term unschooling since we're talking about it in the comments real quick. And apparently it's, correct me if, if I'm wrong in the comments, guys. Apparently it is a type of homeschooling that doesn't follow like public school curriculum. They're learning life lessons instead of like math from a textbook as an example, I could be completely off, but yeah, these people in MLMs, there's usually some sort of a trend and then they all start doing the same things. Uh, for example, sourdough, we saw all of them all of a sudden make sourdough. That's another, that's one example that, that I can think of right off the top of my head. I think unschooling is going to be the next thing. Yeah big yikes. Yeah, I think it's kind of a Montessori style curriculum, but I think it also focuses on um, life lessons. Yeah, life lessons are great, but so is a structured curriculum for education. Agreed. Yeah, cold plunging. Yeah, cold plunging. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine making a loaf of sourdough and then saying, oh, I'm going to create a course on how to make sourdough. <laughs> Wild. <gasps> oh, God. Here we go. Story time. Are y'all ready? I hope you have something warm and cozy, you know, like your favorite blanket and a cup of hot cocoa or tea or, you know, something along those lines. <laughs> Anyways, can't. So this morning I was talking with a friend and there is a new anti MLM subreddit. Let me get the exact name so you guys can check it out. 
speaking of sourdough making courses, Katie Rollins, talking to you. <laughs> there is a new subreddit called Prove It Huns Exposed. And this is a subreddit that is basically talking about Katie Rollins and her downline and the things that they have done, said, uh, those types of things. So if you're on Reddit and you're into that, check it out. And in this conversation with a friend, I was, we, we were kind of going back and forth. Who do we think this is? Because this person in the subreddit that was commenting was saying, oh, I'm one of the four people that was sued by Prove It. One of the four people, huh? Immediately I go to behind MLM. I find the lawsuit that included, um, Casey Kayo, who we're going to react to today, tonight, um, Alexis Brady and Brianna Woodward or Brianna something, I can't remember. And then I think the fourth person is Michael Rutherford, which by the way, did y'all know there's another lawsuit with Michael Rutherford? I learned a whole lot about, uh, lawsuits with Prove It probably less than an hour ago. Crazy. Anyways, so... My friend and I were talking, who do you think it is? Who do you think this could be? We're going through the list of the people, the, the very short list of people. And the language and the style, I kind of feel like, along with my friend, uh, that it could be Casey in the subreddit, which, okay. Why do I think that? Oh, because when Casey was getting sued by Prove It, she reached out to me. Yeah. Um, but I just got major red flags before. Let me just show you the screenshots. Okay. So I think the first one was on Instagram and this was the first one Casey sent to me. I believe this was in August. I think it was August 23rd. Hey, can we chat about a prove it lawsuit? Casey, did your lawyer know that you sent that to me? Because when you're being sued by a company, the last thing they want you doing is talking about a lawsuit. <laughs> the lawsuit, current events that was happening at this time. And I was like, that's weird. I've never really talked to her. I don't really, I, at the time I didn't know who this was. And I was like, that's, that's weird. You know, I just, I don't know. I just, I just got red flags. Why? No idea. I mean, I do now, but I didn't at the time. I was like, why is this? Yeah. So there's that first screenshot. Then February 9th, she sends me another message on TikTok, a different social media platform and says, I wish I could tell you what I'm going through with them. I'm assuming this was in response to like a prove it video or something. You'd have a hell of a time with these insane stories now i know i'm doing the story time here you know um but casey do you do you think this is a drama channel so you think so you were not at this time but the first message you were going through a lawsuit you wanted to talk about the loss that seems a little weird right and then the way that that's worded i was like oh i don't like that i don't like that so what did i do this morning when i was chatting with my friend um i was like i wonder what she's up to i wonder what casey is doing these days and so i go to facebook and i notice i'm blocked casey now i don't i don't care that i'm blocked however putting the whole story together this person was sued by Prove It because she joined Green Compass. And according to the lawsuit, which I have included in the video description, by the way, if you want to look at all the details, uh, was cross-recruiting, allegedly, into Green Compass. So that's interesting. And then reached out wanting to talk about the lawsuit and delivered it on two diff in two different ways on two different social media platforms and then blocks me. That's weird, right? It almost makes me think that 
oh she she wasn't wanting help she just was wanting to get featured so somebody could tell her story but for me and this is just my opinion on my channel if you're in a current mlm company i cannot have you telling your story on my channel until you're out of mlm it is something that i have had in place forever it's just it's not forever but since i started my channel it was just a rule that i had and I don't know, I just find it really weird that she would all of a sudden, well, I don't know when she blocked me. Let me just say that. Yeah, it's suspicious. Well, that's suspicious, right? Yeah. Oh, Brandy, that's so nice. Thank you. I don't know. Can you guys see totally random off topic how long the hair is? I have a, a haircut to have it trimmed coming soon. So, but thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Stop flirting with Aaron during story time. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, so I found that interesting. And then as I was scrolling her Facebook, I found this video and I started to watch it earlier with the members and it's infuriating. So Casey is somebody that was building her brand, in my opinion, using keto, keto recipes, drinking ketones, and all of a sudden she's done a complete, I guess, 180, if you will. And now she's getting into a space where she's trying to market to people that have trouble with cortisol levels. Um, I've seen some Gen X type stuff and things of that nature. And she's just going from one group, in my opinion, that she wants to take advantage of to another group. So I do want to give a content warning um, because there's going to be talk about foods. So all the content warnings that I give typically for Optavia videos, uh, we're going to be talking about food, relationship with food, disordered eating, eating disorders, anything that has to do with any of that, we are going to be talking about it on this video. So if you're in a place where that is not something that you're comfortable hearing about, this might not be the live stream for you. Because Casey here is going to tell us how she has lost a sig well, not an amount of weight, if you will. I was going to say significant, but an amount of weight without changing her diet, without exercising, but the time frame is suspiciously similar to the time that she was being sued by Prove It, which I would imagine would be pretty stressful. Yeah. So content warning rage, indeed. <laughs> so just want to make sure that I prepare you guys for that. This Her video is like 31 or 32 minutes long. Also, Casey, I know you're probably watching. What's up? Glad you're here. And uh, yeah, so let's get to the video and do i want to do this one let's do this one drop your commentary but uh no ad hominem attacks or anything along those lines follow the rules of the stream and yeah this is casey everybody what's up everybody hello happy wednesday i think it's wednesday do you see these guys up here going nuts oh is that you trying to sell people on your green compass collagen. Cute. What's going on everybody? I'm gonna give it just a second. Actually, let me grab a water because I know I will need it. I'm gonna try not to make this a long video, but I always say that and then it goes long. Look at this. They refuse to lay down. That's what new hair growth is, you guys. Crazy little hairs. What's going on? Hi, Shannon. So say hi in the comments below. Let me know where you guys are watching from. I am live on the page, the business page. Um, and I also have the group Healthy with Casey. So if you want- I'm actually gonna fast forward this because this is just a bunch of intro stuff. So give me just a second. I forgot I mentioned I was gonna do that. Gonna lurk while I prep a bee and puppy cat cake. Oh, that's a cute theme. Okay, hang on. It's just crazy, but, um, and I don't know why I didn't do it sooner. So, <laughs> hi lot. Shannon from Southwest Missouri. How is your weather out there? Um, it's 
like a chilly, I don't know, it's not too bad today. I would say it's mid 40s, maybe upper 40s and sunny here in South Jersey today. Mm -hmm. So at least we're getting some sunshine. Wrong but comment. Real quick, so 16 pounds, I'm not going to BS you guys and tell you that I lost it like that. It was a slow process, pretty much from July. Maybe. July 13th, like when you were terminated from Prove It? Maybe August until now. So what's that, six months? Um, and I, for reference, I'm a, I am 5'2". I started at 146 pounds. Today I'm 130 pounds. See, for reference, if you're going to talk about weight loss, I would love to know, are you tracking your caloric intake? Are you exercising? How many calories are you burning a day? I want to know the details of that for you to get on this live and say, oh, I lost 16 pounds in a matter of six months or whatever. Okay. That's not like huge weight loss, but see, we have to remember, we have to ask ourselves, well, what is the underlying theme here? What, what is she trying to do? Well, she's trying to say that the green compass products allegedly, in my opinion, are what helped her with weight loss, but she's going to leave out big gaps of the story. And the big part of this story is she was being sued by Prove It for a million dollars for cross recruiting into Green Compass. I mean, I think that that would cause significant stress for anybody, but she's leaving that part of the story out. And I find that quite interesting. You're going to message me and want to talk about the lawsuit, but on your live, Casey, you're going to leave that part out of your story? You're going to leave that part out? That's weird. So 16 pound difference, um, but 16 pounds on a, you know, five, two frame is kind of a lot. So, and I'm not saying by any means it's a lot like I was overweight or obese or anything. I'm just saying it was a lot for me and that's okay. Um, so I'm going to tell you what I did and then what I used to help me get there because I know a lot. What did you use to get there? Stress from the lawsuit? Were you using green compass CBD at that time? Granted, don't get me wrong. I think that CBD and THC and, you know, edibles, I definitely think that more people need to have access to these things hundred percent. However, Pay attention to the details of her story from July, which I believe she was terminated July 13th from Prove It. And I think she was served the paperwork in September. I want to say September 7th, somewhere along there. And then through, I think, February. I just, there's, there's lots of holes in the story and 16 pounds over six months. And you're trying to say it's from your MLM products. Okay. A lot of you that are following me have followed me for the last couple of years and maybe you were doing keto while I was doing keto or lazy keto um, or, you know, using supplements to get into ketosis or whatever. I want to tell you all because I, I'm still shocked that people don't know this, but I stopped all of that keto, ketones, lazy keto, ketosis, all those things in June. In June? Yeah. So... Hmm, that's interesting. If you stopped in June, you were terminated in July. Had you already joined Green Compass by that point? Were you already quietly messaging people through, you know, in Messenger and saying, hey, I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm not putting those keto recipes up or whatever. I'm going to lean more into CBD, you know, that type of thing. Was that happening? And that's why you were terminated in July and later served with a lawsuit. Did you do a live where you were, uh, you know, telling your story about how Prove It wronged you? I'm not defending prove it by any means, guys, but if you're gonna lie, at least be good at it, you know? Um, truth be told, I probably stopped in May, but I don't really remember. I just know in June, I was like, uh -huh. screw it. Right. <laughs> I am done dieting. And that's the first part that I will tell you. Not the being done dieting part, but the mindset part. Oh, here we go. I decided in June, I was like, you know what? I'm sick of worrying about what I'm eating. I'm sick about sick of feeling bad when I would go out and have pizza or beer or whatever. And for me, 
just, this is me personal. So take this as my own testimony. I'm not telling you what to do. But, but you're hoping that people listen to you and buy your supplement, right? Because that's the only reason that you're going live talking about it is you want people to buy the CBD, the CBD jellies that are $124.95 one time purchase for 30, uh, 30 servings that you take once or twice a day. So if they take it twice a day, that lasts them 15 days. Oh, but you can get it on a smart ship for $100. I'm the kind of person that I can be good all week, right? I can eat a salad every single night. It can be the same dang thing every single night for dinner. But if something disrupts my plan, if there's a girl's night out, if there's um, something that I want to go to that's different or new or a festival or, you know, an event or a concert or whatever, I'm not going to deprive myself for that thing. Here is the first sign of what sounds to me like disordered eating. And that's just my opinion. Eating good or eating bad. Food is not good or bad. Food is food. There's no moral value to it. And so already she is categorizing food as good or bad. I could be good all week and then something disrupts my plan and I'm not going to deprive myself. You shouldn't have to. You shouldn't have to. If you want to go have a girl's night and have a glass of wine and have what you want at dinner, you should be able to do that. That's, that's a very normal behavior because food should not have a moral value. And if you're classifying food into good or bad, I want to lovingly encourage you to speak to a professional about it. Registered dietitian, therapist, both, if you're able to because you don't have to earn food you don't have to do that and what happens with me is then that becomes a yo-yo right because i can be good for so long and then i kind of fall off and then once i fall off again i'm the kind of person that like beats myself up over it so just to to give you a quick example if i'm good and on my diet and on plan all week long and oh on plan. I hate that term. I hate that phrase. It reminds me of Optavia. And y'all know how I feel about Optavia. If I had the capability to zoom in at that moment, where I said, you know how I feel about Optavia, I would have done it at that moment. And then Friday night comes along and I have a couple slices of pizza and a couple brewery beers and maybe a chocolate chip this. cookie for dessert. In my mind and in my head, what happens is I go, well, shoot, I already failed. I already quit my diet. I screwed up. I'm, I messed up. I might as well scrap the whole weekend. See, and that way of living is not sustainable. If you want to have a cookie, if you want to have a beer, if you want to have whatever, you should be able to have those things. Obviously, if you have, uh, you know, if you're gluten intolerant, you know, or you, um, there's any kind of a health thing that you are working with your doctor, your medical team or whatnot, obviously listen to them. But for somebody that's not dealing with those specific issues, have those things. Because if you are categorizing food into good or bad, and then you're all of a sudden picking from the bad, and then you're going to continue to pick from the bad, and next thing you know, you've eaten the whole bag of Oreos or whatever, if you would have just allowed yourself during the week when you probably wanted them to have a couple Oreos or whatever it is that you're wanting, that's a healthy way of, of food intake, inclusive eating. But when you're super restrictive and you get a taste of the quote unquote bad food, which what? <laughs> that's why this behavior happens, you know? And I am speaking from experience on this. Because when I was in Prove It, I remember being like this and being literally scared to have carbs. Right? So I kind of, <laughs> have you ever heard the analogy of like, if you get one flat tire, you don't go around flattening the other three. No. You just fix the one flat tire. I I'm not like that. Yes. It doesn't work for me. Um, 
So I would have one bad night or one bad meal or whatever it was, and then it would, it would kind of spiral. And then I would get myself back on track, usually the next Monday or sometimes the next month or... This is giving the boyfriend that breaks up with their significant other to be able to do whatever they want on the weekends and then on Monday morning gets back with their significant other like, I'm sorry, don't do that. You know, when we were doing a challenge or something together as a group, um, yes. but that period in between of like giving myself that time off kind of became binge eating and not binge eating to the sense where I was, you know, making myself sick or, or anything like that. But binge eating is binge eating. And that comes from restrictive eating, in my opinion. Like just having the freedom to eat what I wanted. Yeah. So I would eat all of the things that I wanted and not just a couple cookies, but the whole package of Chips Ahoy cookies or, you know, it just, it was too much. So in June, nothing was working. This weight was hanging on. I was feeling miserable. I was stressed. I wasn't sleeping. I had major anxiety going on because my son was getting ready to graduate high school and all the things that go along with that. Um, and you were being sued by Prove It at that time. And you were terminated. So whatever income, I think she was a rank seven, which is the top echelon in the company. I, I believe she was a rank seven. And that means that she was getting the ownership pool, which is like 1% of the company's revenue for being a rank seven. So she was making probably a significant amount of money off of her team. And as of July 13th, she of last year, she was terminated. So there was zero income coming in. Also July 13th, several days prior to prove it paying people that's so dirty so she probably thought she was gonna get this nice little check although i bet it was dwindling at that time because she was like i was pretty much done in may but i hung on in june i was done with keto in june oh and july just you know yeah because you get terminated so i bet that was stressful no income coming in that you were planning on yeah that'd be stressful in addition to prove it was probably telling her hey we're going to be watching you. you you know you can't join another mlm company for six months Mm hmm Yeah. And I just kind of said, like, screw it. I'm done dieting. I don't have time to worry about that stuff. Mm -hmm. At the same time, keep in mind that I have this group with all of you guys, and I lead a group called Healthy with Casey, mm -hmm. and I was feeling like a total fraud because... Mm -hmm. You were leading a group called Healthy with Casey, and you were feeling like a total fraud. Were you, Casey... Were you putting up keto recipes and saying that you were keto, but you weren't keto? I bet that's the case. Were you not getting results from the Prove It Ketones anymore? Hmm. Let's see what she has to say. Here I am saying one thing and doing another, right? Oh, and I've always been honest with you guys. It's not like I was hiding anything, but I... Uh, but you are hiding a big chunk of this story, Casey. And we know that because I've already provided the information to show that felt like what kind of example am I being if I'm good five days of the week and then I'm binging for three days, you know, or two days or whatever. Um, so that, that played on my mental capacity too. Like it, it just wore on me that like, oh man, I'm, you know, I'm telling them to eat all the healthy things. I'm posting all these keto recipes and I'm not even keto. And it just like, it was this constant running spiral in my brain. And I was like, done with it. I was just done with it. Hmm. So, which probably doesn't apply to most of you because I'm sure most of you guys are not leading a group like that and, and feel that way. But maybe you're, you know, you're trying to be a healthy example for your family or you have a spouse that's trying to eat healthy and you're, you know, you're sneaking the cookies out of the pantry. I don't know. See, and this is what happens when somebody that's not qualified to speak on something as important as nutrition speaks on it. And the intention is to sell a multi-level marketing company's product. Gross. Anyway, June comes, I decided I'm done. Done with all that. I'm not doing keto anymore. I'm not doing lazy keto. I'm not trying to be in ketosis. I'm not taking any of those supplements. I'm done. And I just had mm. it in my head, you guys, that this is the body that I'm in. 
fat and fluffy. I don't care. It is what it is. I'm just going to live with it. And here's what happened. This is the cool part of the start of the 16 pound loss. Because my mental space switched and I gave myself that freedom to just say like, screw it. I'm going to eat what I want. I'm not going to binge. I'm not going to gorge myself. I'm not going to go through these like you know, being on diet and then being off and then eating all the things and then not. And that it, like, oh, I love that. I love the fact that she was like, hey, I'm just I'm just going to eat what I want, I'm, which to me sounds like intuitive eating in a sense. Love that. Also, Kojo. Guys, I wore the uh, Maiden Resistance shirt to the gym today. If you don't know that Kojo sent that to me, that is her gym. If you uh, want to share any information about that in the comments, you definitely can. And thank you for the shirt. I appreciate you. 21 months. Hey, Casey, Kojo wants to know what's the point of your story. What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> I think what happened was, one, I regulated my metabolism, right? Because I wasn't going five days of keto or low carb and then three days of all the carbs and then... <laughs> Four days of liquid only diet and what five days of eating all the things what'd she say five days of eating all the things four days of whatever three days of a liquid diet that sounds absolutely horrendous and yeah it was probably tanking your metabolism for sure. Did you pair this with a 60 hour fast once a month too? The keto reboot? What? Casey. Okay, I'm just gonna play the video while I collect my thoughts. And then three days of pizza and brewery beers, like you can't do that. We all know that. I knew that. I was still doing it. But you were leading a group called healthy living with Casey. How's that work? That's weird. Um, but for me, it gave me the okay, or it gave me the freedom to eat what I wanted, when I wanted, when I was hungry, without the guilt. Love that. And I'll tell you guys, give yourself that freedom. Like give it, give yourself a month of just like, I'm going to do whatever I want. I'm going to eat whatever I want. Now, maybe if you have, you know, an eating disorder or something, that's not the best advice. So, Or disordered eating, like it sounds like could be a possibility here. Oh, my God. Thank you, girl. That's not a diet. That's disordered eating. And it's terrifying that she is live acting like she is the expert in this area. And unfortunately, people are probably going to listen to her. And that's terrifying. That's terrifying. Hey, DC, what's going on? There's a lot of responsibility on these MLM companies for pushing me these ideas about food that support their product, but harm the, harm the individuals who are reps in the company, in my opinion. I agree with you completely. Hey, Charlene, what's going on? Just what I needed. A, a nice live while I'm sick. I hope you feel better your favorite sociopath and thank you for the, the super chat. I appreciate you. Oh, I don't like this. Not one bit. Again, this is my experience, but for me, it freed up that part of my brain that was going, you're a failure. You quit a diet. You, this isn't good. You're telling people one thing, you're doing another thing. It stopped all that chatter in my brain. And what happened was, I don't think that that would happen in a month necessarily. I started eating whatever the heck I wanted, mostly healthy because that's how I tend to eat anyways. Um, but I would eat, you know, a fried chicken. I'm sorry. I'm going to be pausing a lot. By the way, if you're new to my channel, this is a commentary channel. I have a lot to say always. Um, you typically eat healthy, but you just sat here and told us about how you don't eat healthy. And when I say don't eat healthy, what I mean is the five day or the four day followed by the three day liquid diet, that's not healthy eating in my opinion. So no, you don't typically eat healthy from the words that just came out of your mouth. That's absurd. 
What? Chicken sandwich if I wanted it. I would have the pizza and the beer, but it wasn't, I didn't attach the guilt to it. And I think that's the big kicker is that I removed that guilty feeling. And in doing so, I started to notice that one, my mental space was better, right? I will talk more about that here in a minute. Well, let's talk about it now. Um, I'm wondering if her mental spell, mental space was better. I was going to, I combined space and health in one word. Anyways, I'm wondering if her mental space was better because she was trying to sell a product that is designed around keto, the keto diet, drink ketones, all of those types of things. And it probably wasn't working for her. And then she was like, I'm just not going to do that. I'm just going to eat whatever I want. And so I wonder if that's why her mental space was better is because she wasn't trying to keep up with the brand that she herself created by being a part of Prove It. Why am I saying that? Because I remember feeling the same way. I remember feeling like, what am I doing? I got out and then I had to reverse diet my way out of that, which included eating carbs. And let me just tell you, when you do that, you introduce carbs, there's going to be a difference in the scale. It's, it's necessary. It's a part of it. And when I see some of these people that are in MLM that are weaponizing that against people, Optavia, I'm talking to you. You know, when people start taking in more calories and they've been super restrictive, the scale is going to show changes. It'll normalize. But what I see too many times, especially from Optavia people, and I know this isn't an Optavia video, is they will say, see, they gained all the weight back and then some. Yeah. Yeah. Because they were eating 800 to 1,000 calories a day for how long? And now they're starting to eat a significant amount of calories that their body actually needs to function. I just wanted to say that. Okay. Two, I was enjoying eating again, because when you're so restrictive or when you feel like you can only do X, Y, or Z, or, you know, staying on keto, staying on lazy keto, cutting out all carbs, carbs are bad. They're that not. just wasn't working for me anymore. And I did lazy Shocker. keto for five years, you guys, and I had great results um, in the beginning. And then it got harder and it, you know, it wasn't working for me as much. And I probably got lazier on it and all the things and our bodies change and we get older and our metabolism slows down and premenopause stuff and all the things, right? See, and now she's working into what she's trying to transform her brand into currently perimenopause. She's talking to a specific age group. She's going to talk about cortisol that's all coming so you can see the shift she started with weight loss then she started talking about how keto wasn't working because she probably built quite a large audience off of people that followed her for keto recipes so now all of a sudden she's not talking about any of that and they're like wait what's going on because remember a few minutes ago she said i'm actually shocked that some of you don't know that i'm not doing that anymore why would they be shocked you know <laughs> anyway so now she's starting to rebrand and I find it interesting. The marketing side of it, I find really interesting. Um, Manipulative, but interesting. So it, it stopped the chatter. That's the most important message. If you get nothing else, it stopped the chatter in my brain that may, made me think or made me feel like I was failing. And when that stopped, the weight started to come off. And like I said, I'm not gonna BS you. I'm sorry, speaking of not BSing us. Now, I am not an expert in this area, so if any experts are in the chat, in the live chat, and feel free speaking on this, please feel free to do so. Physiologically, if you have, this is, I'm going to pose this as a question, if you have been restrictive when it comes to carbohydrate intake, and all of a sudden you start taking in more carbs, and eating, just like she said, whatever she wanted. Do you think that you are going to magically see weight drop off? Because I don't, but that's just my opinion. Y'all let me know what you think in the comments, but I, this part of the story does not make any sense to me if you've been 
super restrictive with carbs and then you start eating carbs. But you're saying that when you started eating carbs that you lost weight. Mm. I just, I don't buy it. But again, experts or professionals in the chat, feel free to let us know. And say, oh, I dropped 16 pounds overnight. No, I would drop a pound or two. But what Normal. I noticed was, and I've shown the graphs, so you guys have seen, luckily my scale tracks my weight. Like when I get on the scale, it, it goes to the app um, and it tracks it because it's just been like, I started at 146 and it's been a very slow, all the way down to 130. And there's a couple like, you know, blips in there too. Most of them are two or three pounds, not a big deal. But what I would see in the past was like drastic drop, spike, drastic drop, spike. Well, yeah. If you were eating like you just said you were eating with the four days of this, three days of this, followed by three days of a liquid diet, that's exactly what you're going to see with the scale. I don't know why this is so shocking to her. I don't understand how she's trying to say, oh, this is because of this MLM product. I know that that's coming. I haven't watched this fully, but <sighs> let me also say, if you are somebody that can identify yourself in some of the things that she is saying, I'm trying to be very careful in how I word this. And maybe you are becoming aware of disordered eating patterns or you're you've been aware of it you're you probably shouldn't be on the scale probably should put the scale away get rid of the scale because that's not going to be good that includes weighing food on an actual scale probably probably not the best decision again that's just my personal opinion obviously you know please work with professionals but if you're exhibiting behaviors like this, probably stay off the scale, get rid of it. I just feel like that would be dangerous, but, but yeah, just my opinion. Uh, Jamie, member for nine months. Thank you so much for being a member. The scale just says how much gravity is pulling you down. It doesn't show bones, muscle, water, ugh. Throw that scale away, boo, exactly. Oh man. Yeah, see, I love this. Yes, getting rid of my scale was life-changing for getting out of my disordered eating. Yes. Yeah. Susan and I talk about this a lot. In case you guys don't know, Susan is my trainer and my mentor now, which is very exciting. Um, she's kind of always been my mentor, actually, in the last few years. But we talk about this a lot. In fact, I stopped tracking for tracking food for a while. And she was like, Erin, it, this is data that we need. And until she said it that way, I was like, I didn't even think about it that way. Meaning if there's any kind of fluctuation based off of my goals and what I am doing, working with a professional, that data is important. But if there's disordered eating habits or uh, anything along those lines, throw the scale away, throw it away. Drastic drop spike. And if you did the average of it, it was kind of flat. What? Why are you averaging the highs and lows of your weight? That, what? That doesn't even make any sense. Why would you do that? And were you weighing yourself every day? Please don't weigh yourself every day because your weight is naturally going to fluctuate. What are we doing? Casey, what are you doing? Because it was up, down, up, down, up, down. The average was the this same. Right here. Now what was happening was I'm losing, I'm losing. I'm losing, might gain a couple, still losing, still losing, still losing, might gain a couple, still losing, but consistently it was going down over time. Are you still categorizing food into good and bad, whatever, subject, no, subjects, what? Categories. <laughs> so what did I do to get there? Nothing. I changed. I stopped the rat race. I stopped the rat race in my brain of going, I need to be on a diet. I have to start Monday. I'm going to go Monday to Friday, but I'm going to take Friday night off because Friday night I'm doing this. And then da, 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 da. like I stopped, I stopped, I stopped all of that. The other thing that I started doing, and I'm, I'm talking a lot about this is I started paying attention to not even paying attention to, I started becoming aware of how much our sleep and our mood 
affects our cortisol levels. And for anybody that's struggling with this like belly region, like lower belly. First of all, I earned that lower belly, FYI by birthing two of my two, my two beautiful children. So maybe let's stop villainizing that. Maybe just don't do that. I don't know, it's a hot take, I guess. Bloat, fluff, fat, all the things. All the things. Honey, that's cortisol. That is your stress mm. hormone, cortisol. When you are stressed, when you are not sleeping, when you have anxiety, excuse me, when you are unregulated in that department your hormones are off and if you're unregulated in that department please seek professional help from an endocrinologist somebody that went to medical school that can help you with hormones not somebody at an mlm that's trying to help you yeah thumbs up <laughs> not somebody that's trying to sell you a highly overpriced or absurdly overpriced i think is a better way to say that mlm product your stress hormone is off and that's cortisol and your body retains that weight and it for me was retaining it in my belly and my butt um and i was sick of seeing that pooch so when that started to change i was like hmm what what is going on here like my i could tell the the composition of my body was changing um i wish i had a really good like before bikini picture when i was 146 pounds to show now at 130 because I think even more so than the scale, I think what you would see is the difference in the composition. Like I know I've lost my butt, none of my jeans fit, like they're all loose. Um, and that would be a sad day for me. I worked hard for this butt. <laughs> I do not want to lose my butt. I'm trying to, I'm trying to put gains in that department. <laughs> the belly like that lower belly is it's not gone it's not flat by any means but it's a lot better um so i started paying attention to the cortisol level and really what i did in june which had nothing did you have blood work done to find out what your cortisol levels were no did you casey you got the studies on your uh mlm product Oh, you don't? Yeah, cute. To do with weight loss or fat loss or anything like that was I figured out or I, I acknowledged Brandy. that I was stressed. <laughs> and I acknowledged that I had major anxiety going on. Like I said, my son was getting ready to graduate high school. He was going to college. We just had a lot of things going on. Yeah, that you're leaving out of the story, like, you know, being terminated from Prove It, not having an income that you probably were counting on having as whatever that number was, um, you know, being sued by Prove It, that probably would cause, cause, excuse me, significant stress. And I was, I was so super stressed. <laughs> I've never been a good sleeper. So I have, up until I kind of changed my routine back in June, I would sleep I would fall asleep okay, but I would wake up and be awake for an hour or two in the middle of the night. Maybe I love this so much, Wendy. And thank you for the super chat. I appreciate you. Friendly reminder, y'all are amazing. No matter what size you are, bunch of cutie patooties over here. I love that. And I couldn't agree more. Y'all are amazing. You fall back asleep for an hour or two and never, ever, totally ever it. felt rested. Like just never felt rested. Probably um, stress. So two things that I started doing. I started using CBD supplements mainly for sleep. Mainly okay. for sleep. Because at the time I really wasn't. Notice she didn't say another MLM product. She said, no, no, no. I started using a CBD supplement, which I think is fantastic. If it's a CB CBD supplement that does not come from a multi-level marketing company that preys on other people so that they can be at the top of the pyramid hate it hate it so much convinced that i had anxiety um i knew i was stressed i knew i was worried but i was like ah, i'm always worried i'm always stressed i can deal with this right uh -huh. so i started using and i'll show you guys actually i started with here comes the pitch started with these guys oh. these are jellies like little gummies they don't um 
these are the things I was talking about earlier in the stream that a one-time purchase is $124.95, but you can put it on an auto ship and it's only $99.96. When I say only, that's obviously sarcasm, um, but you take one to two a day. So those prices, if you take them twice a day or take two, you know, at a time, that's going to last you half the month. I saw somebody, I don't remember who it was, so please let me know in the, the live chat. Um, somebody said, I found some on Amazon for like 30 bucks. Yeah, I believe that. I don't have any THC. They're CBD, not weed. It's not going to get you high. No psychoactive properties whatsoever. Um, and I started taking these before bed. I actually started with an oil, but it came with these. Um, but I don't have the oil in front of me right now. It's kind of like this, but it's not this one. But I started with that because my son was using it. He was using it to sleep Correct. at bedtime because he has bedtime anxiety. And he's the, always had it since he was probably eight or nine years old where he just has a really hard time going to sleep. That wasn't my problem. I could fall asleep fine. I was always tired, but I would wake up. So I started with the oil to sleep. What I started noticing was I wasn't like jumping down his throat about stupid little things anymore. I was a calmer, quieter mom. I wasn't barking at him for, you know, leaving his socks on the stairs or leaving dirty dishes in the sink or little things, right? I wasn't losing my ever loving mind over. So I was like, okay, this stuff works. Hey, Andrew. But again, I started it because of sleep. Then what I started to realize was I'm feeling better like I'm overall feeling better and I know CBD works with anxiety and stress and I started, you know, paying attention to it. Oh, my bad. There's 30 servings in one of those containers. 30. Yep. Um, I'm sure she said the same thing about ketones. Yeah, she probably did. Because, you know, prove it makes people better parents. So I would not take it for a couple of days and I would see how I felt. And it, it takes a couple of days. Like it takes a couple of days for these to build up in your system. And then it takes a couple of days after you stop for you to realize like, wow, I was kind of bitchy and mean and anxiety ridden and all the things. And I could tell a huge difference. So really the main things that I did was I started getting a good night's sleep. Now I take, um, I, I switched up my formula and I take these full spectrum jellies. So the difference between these two is there's a teeny amount of THC in here, which is the active, the psychoactive property that you might think of with marijuana. This comes. However, THC is, it's less than 0.3% in these. So still legal amount, but if you do get drug tested, don't get the full spectrum, get these broad spectrum. The reason why I like these, they see when I hear this, I distinctly remember the Q sciences debacle on how it said, uh, THC free. And then it turned out a lab did testing on it. A, a couple that were fired, um, from Q sciences, it actually had a large amount allegedly of THC. So when I hear her say this stuff, I'm like, oh, mm -mm. this right here. <laughs> See? <sighs> yeah. Here we are. Yeah. They just work for me to sleep. So I started with the oil. I switched to the jellies. Then I switched to the full spectrum jellies. And now I sleep. I posted it this morning. Like I sleep a solid eight hours. I don't think I tossed or turned once last night. I don't even get up to go to the bathroom anymore, you guys, which is amazing because I drink a ton of water, but <laughs> this is what I prefer. This is what works best for my body for sleep. So that's what I do every single night. I just take one of these jellies. These ones are raspberry citrus flavor. Mm. Um, they are nano emulsified, which means you I can't wait to hear her explain nano emulsified. <laughs> Where are my science people? Where are my, my science lab type people? Nano emulsified. <laughs> it's 
stops your need to pee. That seems bad. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God, Tish. Hello. Hello. Yeah, just use melatonin. Sure. Yeah, love that. <laughs> Oh, not the nano emulsified. <laughs> oh, what do you think? How do you think she's going to define nano emulsified? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> oh, let's see how she defines nano emulsified. You absorb more with the jellies than you do with the the oil. This is nanotechnology, so more gets into your system. Uh <laughs> Nano emulsified. More gets into your system. <laughs> I just, I'm actually kind of speechless. <laughs> I don't think that's a thing, Casey. <laughs> I can't, let me pull it together. <laughs> um, that's just my personal preference. Some people do uh -huh. better with the broad spectrum in the morning some people like we actually have sleep jellies some people like the sleep jellies better and they sleep better with those i've tried all of these this is what works best for me so that's what i'm going to share with you this is what i take to sleep and then when i need it in the morning i will take one of the broad spectrum no thc um this is a lemon cello flavor lemon jelly if i feel like i'm going to be stressed that day if i have a lot going on if um, my mind's racing, or if I just kind of want to be chill, a little extra chill, I'll take one of these. So usually if I'm traveling, if I, what do you had a milestone? You had a milestone. Oh, I missed it. Remember for 14 months, Brandy, appreciate you. I'll never regret fighting Aaron. Do a profit and loss statement. Don't join an MLM. Lift weights if you can. Talk to a professional if available to you. Check out Aaron's booty, her peach when she has to be. <laughs> I'm so sorry I missed that. That's hilarious. Oh, man. I'm still laughing at the more gets into your system. Yeah, okay. I have a lot of meetings that day. If something's on my mind meetings? that's bugging me then I'll take one in the morning too. Um, every single morning, I also take one of these digestive jellies. So this is like apple cider vinegar, turmeric, cardamom, black pepper, um, hemp terpenes, a little bit of, of um, CBG in this, and which is just another cannabinoid like CBD. This just helps for gut health. So what I will tell you is, I think the combo of taking... I'm sorry. Gut health, another marketing term that companies have created. And I hate it. I hate it so much. Yes, science! Mmm, okay. <laughs> These for gut health help to reduce the bloat. I think they curb my appetite. You think? I know that um, the combination of all of this gives me energy. And I think. Wait, wait, so they calm you down, help you sleep, and give you energy. Sounds like prove it. <laughs> uh, better energy, better focus, better fat loss, mental clarity, and better sleep. How does that work? Yeah, calms me down while they rev me up. How does that, how does that work? <laughs> Not just science, nanoscience. Guys, write that down. <laughs> that, with just stopping the chatter of having to diet, being off the diet, you know, feeling like a failure, then going back on and then having results and then not have, like, I think just stopping all of that craziness and starting this regiment. Mm, I don't think so. I don't think that starting that regiment Um, I don't think that's how that works. 
I think it would be more beneficial in this scenario if, uh, you know, you talk to professionals about that chatter and did the work there, whether that means working with a registered dietitian, a therapist, both. I'm going to say that a whole lot on this live stream. Um, I don't think an MLM product is going to help with that. Mm -mm. Is the only thing that I've done different and I've lost 16 pounds. So I, that's my story. So she's trying to say that taking these products stopped the food chatter, stopped the disordered eating from the sounds of it, and helped her lose 16 pounds. Although, what time frame are we talking about? When did you start Green Compass? Did you start in July of last year? Did you start in June of last year? When did you start with Green Compass? Because I feel like that timeline would be kind of important if you're trying to say that X, Y, and Z product helped me to lose 16 pounds. We do know she talked about the 16 pounds being lost over a period of six months or so, but now she's trying to make it seem like it's these products that have helped her with it. So when did you start taking the products, Casey? Because what you're doing here is extremely deceptive. I think it is extremely harmful to people that unfortunately are going to listen to you and think that these CBD products from an MLM company are going to help them with food chatter, are going to help them with what appears to be disordered eating habits because you are telling your story, if you will. I just think it's extremely manipulative. Don't love it. Sorry, and I'm sticking to it. It worked for me. Mm, um, right. Do I take them at the same time? So I take this one before bed. If I need it, I'll take one in the morning. If I don't, I don't take this one. I always take this one. I always take the digestive jelly. I'm going to tell you guys why. Like, might be TMI, but I am not a regular person, if you know what I mean. And these keep me regular. So, with that. Do you drink a lot of water? you have fiber in your diet if this person is saying if this person is saying that she was eating the way that she was meaning the five days four days three liquid diet days or whatever um yeah she probably is having a hard time pooping because yikes yikes Without fail, I take one of these every morning. I usually take it after um, yeah. I have a cup of tea, and then it's like, all right, we're regular, we're ready to go. Um, but I just noticed too, like, I'm not as hungry. So I pretty much have been just drinking tea in the morning, have one of these. I don't really eat until about one o'clock. So what you're telling us is that you actually are manipulating your your caloric intake because if you're intermittent fasting you're preventing yourself from eating within a window and you're only eating within a very specific window a certain amount of calories that is going to impact in my opinion your your caloric intake your energy intake for the day so remember when she was like i know you know i don't exercise oh i i, I exercised the other day and the day before that come on man which story is it and then I eat whatever the heck I want because I'm not dieting anymore. <laughs> I'm just not doing it. So I wanted to share. No, instead you're just doing intermittent fasting. That's essentially what you're saying you're doing. That with you guys because there's an awesome, um, there's an awesome deal going on for buy one, get one free. Right. And you can get both of these. If you don't get drug tested, I would highly recommend trying this full spectrum. But also try the broad spectrum because everybody's body is a little bit different. We all have an endocannabinoid system um, and these cannabinoids that CBD, CBG, CBDA that they work for are going to work different from you, different for you than they do for me. But if you have access to a dispensary, go and speak to the people at the dispensary. They are very well educated and they're not going to try and recruit you into a pyramid scheme. So. There's a plus. You can do a buy one, get one free. You can do an oil and a jelly. You can do two oils. You can do two jellies. Um, there's a whole like mix and match bundle, which I will put in the comments below, or if you want to drop yes. 
Speaking of mix and match bundle, can we talk about Modair really quickly? I know it has nothing to do with this video, but let me know if you guys are cool with that. Um, yeah, she's not, she's not as hungry because after buying all of those, she has no grocery money left, right? Um, buy both, so I get two times the money, that part. Also this, yep. This is, yep, always warning about don't take these if you get drug tested isn't really a selling point, ma'am. I, I can just go to a dispensary instead and get full information about the THC content and know exactly what you're taking. Yes. <laughs> we can talk about whatever you want, your channel. <laughs> I appreciate that. Uh, have you guys noticed that, that Modair is going to be rolling out or, yeah, is going to be rolling out a new website? I have a prediction. If you're a member, drop the prediction emote in the comments if you want. I have a prediction, and I was speaking uh, with Jessica. I hope you don't mind me saying that, Jessica. Sorry. If... Okay, anyways, we were chatting, and uh, the new website is allowing people to bundle their starter pack, and I just feel like Modair is about to go retail if they don't go bankrupt. We already know the pattern. Okay. I should have asked you beforehand. Sorry, Jessica, but we already know, uh, the pattern or the information, if you will, from the lawsuit that I've already covered and Justin Prince being terminated and all of that stuff. Um, and how financially, apparently how financially a financial drought. I don't know if that's the right word that I want to use for that, but anyways, yeah, I think this is better said. Thank you, Rosie. A last ditch attempt to avoid bankruptcy. I think that they are trying to mix and match what people can can order as a starter package because that's going to make the company the most money if people are joining as a promoter or whatever or a distributor promoter. Um, but I think it's a last ditch effort to gain revenue, but their new website makes me think that they're getting ready to go retail because why would an MLM company have an all new website? Why do y'all think? Put it in the comments, let me know. That's my prediction. Oh, we're gonna talk about Nilo Life. Yeah. There's more that I would like to say, but I'm gonna save that for another video. So, that's coming. I will reply to you with that link. It's weird, um, right? But I wanted you to know that and you get a freebie this month of five travel packs of these Lemoncello broad spectrum jellies. So if you don't order them, you'll get to try them. Why can't they just call them gummies? Why do they call them jellies? That makes me think of the soap from Lush, the shower jelly. <laughs> Anyways, because they come free in your package and there's a full 30 day money back guarantee. So if you don't like them, you use them for 30 days. Maybe the jar is totally empty. You send it back. They're going to give you your money back anyways. Right. <laughs> so it's worth a try. Um, but like I said, the benefits that I've seen is one, I'm sleeping all night long. Thanks to, thanks to this guy. That for me is huge. I was never a good sleeper. I was taking, before I started these, I was taking a 12 milligram yeah, melatonin weird. and an Aleve PM every single night just to get a couple hours of sleep. Now I take one of these jellies. I sleep eight hours sometimes nine, rarely seven, usually eight plus hours if I can, if I don't have to set an alarm, it's eight plus hours. And I wake up, no grogginess, no like melatonin hangover like I used to have. I just feel good. Maybe talk I, to your that's doctor. the biggest thing I can tell you guys is I just feel good with these products, which is why I share about them. Um, is it? You're just sharing because you feel good? Or are you sharing because you're trying to sell a product and promote people into a pyramid scheme? A product-based pyramid scheme. Yeah. Oy. So anyway, if you're interested in that, I will drop in the comments the buy one, get one free deal. But that's pretty much what I did. I was getting a lot of questions on like, how did you lose the weight? And that's, that's pretty much what I did. I stopped the diet yo-yo. I stopped the mental train in my head of like, you're doing good, you're doing good, you're a failure. Um, it, more often than not, it was you're a failure. And I started this regimen. There's other things you can add in if you're premenopausal, perimenopausal, you have aches and pain. No, go talk to your doctor. Go talk to your doctor. So you need reduced inflammation, you get migraines. CBDA is another cannabinoid. This is fantastic for all. I'm sorry. 
migraines, I'm pretty sure you can't say that. Pretty sure. All of that. I will tell you, I came back from Mexico a couple of weeks ago, super, super sick. And because I was vomiting and sick, um, I had got a migraine, but I didn't want to take any medicine because I knew my stomach was already upset. And the medicine that I take for migraines is upsets my stomach anyways. So in the middle of the night, out of desperation, I pulled this out of the dresser drawer and I was like, let me just see if it oh, works. Oh, yeah, secured it. And I took a half of a dropper, like not even a full dropper. What is it? 50 milliliters, whatever, or 0.5 milliliters. Girl. Literally took this much, like the tiniest amount, and my migraine went away. Right. I was still vomiting, but my migraine went away. So mm. CBDA is good for that. Um like I said, we have the digestive jellies. I take those every single morning. We have sleep jellies. If you just want, if you're like, my mood is good. I don't have anxiety. I don't have stress. You just want to sleep, try the sleep jellies. Um, and then we have a couple little boosters. This one is for sleep as well. So you can put these two together. There's actually a bundle for these two. I'm sorry. If the sleep gummies or jellies, as you refer to them, work so well, why do you need a booster? That's weird. <laughs> We have metabolism, which honestly I didn't even use and I still was losing weight. And then we have pain, which I use when I have like aches and pains. Hi, Hi. Um, one moment, parenting. No, recipe. Oh, recipe. 10 tablespoons of chili oil, or whatever, chili sauce. Is that what it says on the recipe? In the whole recipe, but you're putting it, are you guys doing it by each bowl? No. You're doing it in a big yeah, thing? Can you mix it? Well, just, you know. Fair. Uh, maybe just use your best judgment on that. That's fine. We're making, well, they are making tonight because I had this later live stream, which I think has been fantastic. I hope you guys are enjoying it too. And we're making bang, bang chicken, bang, bang chicken bakes. I talk about this all the time. This is, I, I, I don't have an affiliate link or anything like this, but if you are having a hard time with how to meal prep, what to eat, what to make, how to make it in a very easy time frame and this is i'll just tell you guys this since we're talking about this um moving forward when i do have clients that i train when i become certified as a personal trainer this is definitely something that i'm going to suggest which is stay fit stay fit mom her name is krista pool you can find her on all social media platforms and she has a cookbook she has many cookbooks, but the one that I really reach for often is the Meal Prep 2 or Volume 2. And the reason that I loved it or love it is because you buy these Pyrex bowls and each recipe is for five servings. And typically what we do in our household is I will make the five servings and then I keep the extra serving for lunch the next day so that when I go to the gym and I get home, I don't have to think about what I'm going to eat, what I should cook. I just throw it in the microwave. And the thing that I love is because I do track my caloric intake and all of that stuff, my macros and all of that. Not everybody is in a place where they want to do that, but I love the macros on her recipes and they're pre-programmed into my fitness pal, which is what I use to track everything. So, yes, Aaron, give us that pitch. <laughs> so uh, just a heads up, if you are somebody that you're like, I want a meal prep, but I don't know where to start. I don't know how to do it. I highly suggest that cookbook. I think it is awesome. I got a little sad when she shared an MLM product in her stories, and I did tell her, but I love the cookbook. So check it out if that is something that you are into. Um, I have a couple other cookbooks. I have her favorites. I have her home, home something meals, something like that. And um, I do love it. But the one that I reach for is the actual cookbook that I purchased. And it's the um, meal prep volume two. The recipes are fantastic. I think I've had two recipes that I was not a fan of. 
and one was the chicken sausage and I can't remember what else it was. I, I talk about this periodically. And then the other one was um, the baked sweet potato something or other that we had the other night. I wasn't a fan of it. But other than that, I mean, I've been making these recipes for months. So, and the family loves them and it's easy for me and it's on track with what I'm wanting to do. And if you're somebody that wants to track or doesn't want to track or whatever, you're just looking for some really great recipes that are easy, check her out. But really, this is pretty much what I use every single day. These two for sure, every day. Digestive jelly and to sleep, full spectrum jelly. And then sometimes my little happy jelly, my no yelly jelly so that I'm not a miserable POS. Oh. <laughs> um, so I thought I would share that with you guys. That's the only thing I've changed. I'm not working out, I'm not dieting. I'm eating whatever the heck I want, which is pretty much healthy. But when I splurge or when I have something that's not, I'm not beating myself up over it. I'm just enjoying it. I will be completely honest with you guys. There's a lot of this going on in my house right now. Love that. <laughs> These are a problem. In fact, They're not though. This happened last night. <laughs> it's completely empty. I need to throw it out. Um, one whole sleeve gone and that's okay. I didn't beat myself up over it. I didn't get mad about it. I'm supporting the Girl Scouts, right? Um, Is my mouse it right? happens. So if you have any questions, oh, back to my main point though, of like where I started to kind of change my mentality that's was really looking into this whole thing of sleep and cortisol and how they play a part and a role in your fat loss and weight loss and your body composition. If you're not sleeping, if you have hot flashes, maybe you're premenopausal, perimenopausal, postmenopause, um, if you just don't sleep well anyways, if you are stressed, if you are anxious, if you are moody, if Help you are moves. grumpy, if you have that belly pooch, if, um, I don't know, a million different things, you have inflammation in your body, you need to try this stuff. Go see a doctor. Just see if it works for you. Give it a try for 30 days. If you don't like it, send it back. Get your money back. Like, there's really nothing to lose. Um, Except money. Melaton melatonin doesn't work for you. Some people are like that. Like, melatonin. And, and I will say that about these, you guys. is It's not a one-size-fits-all. It's not a one... Like, just because I take these to sleep doesn't mean that they're going to work for you to sleep. <laughs> the broad spectrum might work better for you to sleep. A lot of people use the CBDA to sleep because that works best for them. It might take a little, you know, trial and error to figure out what works best for your system. Because I like to say it like this, like picture a pre-lit Christmas tree, right? A, a Christmas tree that already has lights on it. Oh my God. And you know how some bulbs now these days, they made smarter bulbs, thankfully, that they don't all go out when one goes out. Um, but some might be dim right? Like some might be a little dim and some might be totally out and some might be bright as day. That's your endocannabinoid system. It helps with all the things. It helps with memory. It helps with sleep. It helps with inflammation. It helps with fat loss. It helps with, um, mood and, you know, hormone levels. It helps with everything. But if you had, like, say you want um, I can't pin this comment because my I think my mouse is about to die, but Rosie, thank you for being a member for 13 months. Rosie says, if your sleep is this bad, maybe consider a sleep study. And I couldn't agree with you more. Sleep, but you don't realize you're just a teeny bit anxious and that bulb is dim. It's not out, but it's a little less bright than it should be. This guy goes in and finds it and says, hey, you didn't even know you needed it, but I'm going to go to work on that for you. What is with all these Christmas tree examples? Remember, prove it people um, would say, I, I probably said it, honestly, you know, these ketones light up your brain like a Christmas tree. And now here we are in another company using another Christmas tree example. Why? Uh, but is it vegan free, Jessica says? Or maybe this guy goes and finds that little bulb. You have to play around with it a little bit to see what works best for your body and your system because yours is different than mine. We're all different. Um, so it's a little bit of trial and error, but that's why we do the 30 day money back guarantee empty bottle 
because maybe you try these for you know a week and you're like Casey I'm I'm not sleeping good or they keep me up okay I'm gonna switch you to something else and say try this for a week I just had somebody message me uh, today and I love getting these messages she said Casey I started one gummy a night before bed on Sunday Sun what's today Wednesday three days Sunday Monday Tuesday she goes I have never slept like this before and I was like yes like, I love hearing it. When it works, it works. And it, it'll work for you. You It just, like, give it a little bit to figure out, you know, it's a little one of these. Like, it might be, you know, maybe it's this one. Maybe it's this one. The irony of her using that example, it makes me think of the, the what is it called, the cup game? Like, oh, here, I'm going to put this ball in this cup, and you tell me which one it's in. It's very uh, on brand for multi-level marketing companies, in my opinion. So love that for us, Casey. It's okay. But one way or another, the CBD, the cannabinoids that we have will go in and brighten all those bulbs in your system. The shell game. I promise you that. Even ones that you didn't know were dim. So give it a shot, you guys. If you have any questions, I would love to do a one-on-one -on -one consultation with you. And A consultation? Casey, you are not qualified to be doing consultations. That's wild. Are you prescribing stuff too? Because yikes. Help you find the right product. I actually have a quick little five question survey that just makes it easy for both of us. Um, so I, I can send you that survey. You can fill it out. It's five questions. It's simple. And then I can give you a customized plan for you and what would work best. A customized plan? <laughs> Uh, plot twist, probably all five of those products she's going to suggest for everybody. Oh, you can't afford it. Listen, your health, you can't, what did they, what did they, you, what did they say? When it comes to events, you can't afford not to go. Oh, it's too expensive. You can't afford not to go. Just insert that into this scenario. Cause wow. Based on your needs and what you tell me if you're looking for fat loss, if you're not, if you need sleep, if you don't, if you think you have anxiety, exactly, if you don't, whatever it might be. Um, if you think you have anxiety, talk to a professional. Not somebody in an MLM that's just trying to make a commission off of you. We'll come up with a custom plan and we'll get you started. So I hope that's helpful, you guys. Um, Speaking of eating whatever I want, I'm going to go make dinner, which tonight is chicken cordon bleu. Sounds that awesome. sounded good. And I went to the grocery store today. So that's what I'm having with Love some, it. what did I get with it? Salad. I got one of those nice chopped bag salads, which I love because they come with all the goodies and it's all done for you and you don't have to chop anything up and it's Love just that. ready to go. So that's my plan. That's probably like the healthiest thing I've heard her mention. Also, I'm done with her. So goodbye. <laughs> That was a wild ride. Um, I was going to go over the lawsuit. I have included it in the video description, but I'm pretty sure my mouse is about to die. So I'm not going to be able to click on stuff here very shortly. I keep like plugging it in so that it gets a little juice. That's my bad. Um, but yeah, check the video description for all of the sources. I have the behind MLM information, the uh, income disclosure statement for both Green Compass and also for prove it and i think that it's important to talk about both of those because i had mentioned both of those in this video yeah yeah such a wild ride couldn't agree with you more um appreciate you guys being here thank you so much guys don't join an mlm and uh casey girl can't wait to cover some of the things that you say from here on out yeah also, why'd you block me? It's weird. Anyways, more to come. Thanks for being here, guys. And uh, I will see you. Am I going to be able to click on this? <laughs> I will see you on the next live or the next video, which actually, if you're a member, I'm about to drop another video. And for everybody else, it'll come out tomorrow. So brace yourselves. Thanks for being here. See you guys. Mm -hmm.